Well, hello and welcome back. This is Quest for You, episode 393. And I'm starting out with a quote. If I accept the fact that my relationships are here to make me conscious instead of happy, then my relationships become a wonderful self-mastery tool that keeps realigning me with my higher purpose for living. I came across this beautiful quote by Eckhart Tolle, who wrote the amazing book, The Power of Now, which I read years ago. As someone who always lived in past regrets and with future worries, I cannot recommend this book enough. It helped me greatly to shift my focus into the present moment and be okay with the uncertainties of the future and the missed opportunities of the past. And this quote has a similarly grounding effect. When I read articles, often spiritual ones, that ask me to accept, it can often come across as passive. It can feel as if we're bowing our head in submission to the lot we've been given. When accepting is so much more. It's a critical stepping stone to the process I call moving on. Yesterday we talked about the power that we have to turn a negative event into a problem or an opportunity. That moment when you decide over how much a given situation will affect you is an important one. It determines how you will feel going forward, how others might feel as a result of your words and actions. It can end relationships or improve them. It's your call. Accepting our circumstances is such a critical moment. It's another intersection where we can call the shots, this way or that way. I find it quite amazing when I think about how much control we really have in life, yet we constantly worry that we don't have enough. And then we manipulate and force events and people so we can feel everything is going according to our plan. But we often don't realize how much power lies in the small decisions we make often unconsciously. Accepting is the decision to say yes to what happened. It's also a yes to the other person. And it's a yes to the way things are at this point in time. Lots of times we refuse to accept, which then prevents us from letting go and moving on. And that shows quite often in our relationships with others. Those people that really matter to us. Relationships are complex, and so are our expectations of them. When I reflect on my relationships, I realize that I go into almost every interaction with another person with a set of expectations, especially my close friends. I realize that I always hope for something that they should say or do, and I'm not always aware of it. Those expectations create a dependency, and I believe that a lot of our challenges with others start here. We are looking for something that we cannot find, whether we are aware of it or not. In my traffic example that I shared yesterday, I had an underlying set of expectations that we should get back at a certain time. When I became frustrated at the traffic that wasn't moving, I then shifted my expectations to my friend, hoping he would be able to say or do something that would calm me. Ridiculous, I know, but in retrospect, I realized I made my happiness dependent upon him. Simply going to my girlfriend's house on the weekend for a chat or a coffee, in my mind, I'm already creating a preview of how the conversation will go. It's that future thinking that Tolly always cautions us about. Instead of planning ahead, we need to look for the gift in this moment and allow it to unfold as it is. In a broad sense, we want to be happy in our relationships. And we often portray that need onto the other person. We make it their responsibility to fill that void. When happiness can only come from within us. And the interesting part is, we can control it. We can look for the opportunity instead of the problem. We can decide to accept every interaction with another person as a learning experience that helps us become a better person. We decide over our happiness, not anyone else. We shouldn't hand over such a big responsibility to anyone. 
when I look back, I notice. It's not about what my friend will do when I go visit her that will make my day. It's about what I will contribute to our meeting that will make it enjoyable for both of us. It's not about what my friend will do to help me feel better about the traffic jam. It's about what I can do to help us both get through it in a positive way. When we expect something from another person, we do so from our viewpoint. This is what should be happening. When the person ac across from us is experiencing the same situation, possibly completely different. And we need to acknowledge that. This is what accepting is. It's not about agreeing or bowing our head and resigning. It's accepting and letting go and not wishing for it to be different. It's allowing space for the other to show us their interpretation of the event. This is what Tolley means when he says that relationships are here to make me conscious. All my past relationships have held a mirror to my face that allowed me to see who I am when I am with others. Friends don't often have the courage to tell us. But when the person you really care for is upset because you can't stop complaining about traffic, then it's time to pull out the mirror and reflect. When we begin to look at each relationship as an opportunity to grow, then we will find them more rewarding. I think it starts with accepting the person just the way they are and then making room for whatever the situation may call for. This distance, this accepting and letting go, it creates perspective. A perspective we often don't have when we come with a set of expectations. It allows us to take a step back and respond. Maybe with more patience and generosity. Maybe more empathy. And maybe even by saying goodbye to that person because we realize they no longer fit into our life. Instead of expecting them to be a certain way. It allows us to let go. It takes courage to become conscious. It requires vulnerability to see where we are wrong. And this can be painful, but nobody can resolve the pain for us. We need to do it ourselves. I am still struggling with my behavior that Monday in the car on the way back. It is painful. Today, I try to look at every relationship, love or friendship as an opportunity to learn more about me and as a chance to become a better me. <laughs> the traffic situation has certainly done that. And I wish you that you can create enough distance within the relationships in your life so you can see the same. Remember, accepting first and then taking a step back to look in the mirror, not at the other person. Much love, my friends.